This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez. These are the latest headlines from RTV6. Today, Marion County will take the next step in reopening. That means that bars, clubs, movie theaters, bowling alleys, live music venues, entertainment and tourism sites will be allowed to operate at 50% capacity. That also includes zoos and museums. Houses of worship and restaurants can increase their capacity to 75% and public gatherings up to 250 people will be allowed. The state is still on track to enter stage five on July the 4th. A southwest side neighborhood in Indianapolis is bringing to light issues in their own backyard. Let's take you there because those involved say parts of the city, like Mars Hill, are not very diverse. Elder Tyree Coleman organized the protest after he says an interracial couple moved into the area and received a less than warm welcome. This is happening still today, and it shouldn't happen. Um, you know, the, the, the police has called um, on them for false reasons. Um, they're constantly being harassed when they leave their home, um, come back to things broken and vandalized, and it just shouldn't happen. Others joined in to show support for the couple and others experiencing similar discrimination. Organizers say they're planning more protests in the area, possibly every week. Now time to check your forecast with meteorologist Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. Raphael, good Friday to you. We're dealing with another hot day in store for us across the area today with high temperatures that will be approaching 90 degrees. In fact, some locations, especially to the west and south of Indianapolis, will get to that 90 degree mark. The humidity comes up a touch here today, but it's not super high for us. That is uh, the good news this evening. We have plans. After all, it is Friday evening. Maybe we're doing some outdoor dining. Temperatures will be falling into the mid 80s, so it remains warm uh, this evening. And then as we progress into your weekend tomorrow about a 20% chance of an isolated storm late in the day 91 degrees tomorrow the humidity comes up Saturday and then it's really high on Sunday for Father's Day so Father's Day is warm and muggy with that high of 89 degrees and with added humidity there'll also be the chance of some scattered storms in the afternoon but the day will not be a washout Raphael uh, Todd, thank you so much. We will, we will all need to keep that water bottle very handy. For more weather and stories that you need to know, please download the RTV6 app. I'm Rafael Sanchez. Thank you for joining us.